Dozens of members of the Farm Credit Administration toured parts of the Midwest this week to make a closer connection to the people and projects their administration serves. The Farm Credit Administration oversees farm credit associations like Compere Financial, which helped organize the tour, that made stops on several farms, an ethanol plant, and at Farm America near Wasika. For the farm credit system like Compere, as a farm credit association, we are regulated by this group of individuals coming from D.C. Some of them have never been on a farm. And so the idea is to get them out here, to get them exposed to agriculture, especially to those that are beginning in agriculture or emerging uh, you know, in their careers in agriculture, and in some cases, multi-generational farms. One of the ideas behind the tour, we have a lot of new people coming on board at the agency and get them out to see different parts of agriculture and experience it. We have a lot of people that have finance background, but maybe not the broad agricultural experience. A chance for them to experience some of that. And, you know, it's, agriculture is so unique to other parts of the country, and, you know, it's, uh, it's a great experience to get up here in this part of the country. The 67 associations of the farm credit system are cooperative institutions designed to meet the credit needs of farmers, ranchers, rural cooperatives, and other eligible borrowers. There's also a focus by some associations, including Compere, to help finance and invest in important projects in rural communities. That includes a $24 million addition to the Lakeview Methodist Health Center in Fairmont. These are things that are very much needed in rural America and for us to be able to support that from an investment standpoint in conjunction with USDA and also the local banking community as well is a, is a, is a tremendous, I guess, uh, uh, outreach to rural, rural America. When you think of farm credit, you think of farms, right? But this is a prime example of some of the good work that particularly Compare Financial has been able to do. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.